Before we start this video, uh, I gotta deliver a few packages, so let's go ahead and go to the post office, and then we can start talking about how much this little uh, Amy McBobber cost me to rebuild. Shout out to everyone who's purchased decals. I've literally been heading out every single day. Ugh. And shout out to the man who purchased these mirrors as well. Uh, I don't know if you guys wanna see this entire journey down the post office. I should really probably put something on my hair. It's actually super messy. I'll probably do it when I get back. So I can look more, uh, you know, more appealing in my videos. You know what I'm saying? When you look better, you feel better. That's just fact. Actually, who am I kidding? I'm not gonna leave right now like this. One sec, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Just put a little bit, uh, a little something, something on my hair. Just feeling a little bit better, I guess. Let's go ahead and head down to the post office. Oh, boy, come on. Look at the lighting. I need to, I need to figure out how to use this G7X. I'm not 100%, you know, professional yet, but uh, we're almost there, almost there. So let's go ahead, go down to the post office, drop off this mail, and then we'll start talking about how much this beast cost me to rebuild and whether it's worth it or not. I'm not trying to conversate When I call you late at night I'm not trying to conversate no. Always hard for you to say no The way I sex you girl makes you wanna so we just arrived <laughs> that m2 i was just recording for you guys hopefully this is not too bright behind me that m2 i was just recording for you guys uh he stopped by me i said what's up i have super super clean car he remembered me when i actually used to work at rayleigh's which is super crazy to me um but yeah so basically he knew when i used to work at rayleigh's he's like what what are the odds of that that's the video i'm actually going to be talking about how i went from rayleigh's to where i am today um so yeah that's pretty crazy sorry if the camera's super shaky i'm trying to like unlock the door so i can get all the packages but yeah, that, that M2 was clean. Hopefully one day, guys, an M2 or an M4. I mean, I like one of those, but to be honest, I don't think I'll be able to sell this car, though. I don't think I'll ever be able to. It'll be like that sometimes. The only way to lock it. Guys, it is so hot right now. I'm, like, sweating. This is just so bad. Uh, oh, God, let me go pull down this e-brake real quick. Yeah, nice <laughs> Appreciate it. I don't know if you guys heard him. That was just, so basically, I was gonna start the video with that's the same guy. Went inside, super chill father. Came up to me, he's like, I used to work with Dynan a couple years back, and uh, he loves the M3s, he loves this car. It's crazy how many people love this car, people just talk to me. The, the community you get of people that, you know, have this car or love this car is just amazing. And, it's, and the majority of people who have this car are older people, so. I get in touch with people that I wouldn't even think of. Also, when I went in there, the uh, the post office man was like talking about how his father, I mean his mother worked at Rayleigh's for over, like 20 years and how the old contract was like amazing and how the new contract is utter like garbage. I completely agree with you, my dude. That's the reason I quit. Um, it's because we were treated poorly, paid terribly, and uh, they just didn't care about us, to be honest. Like, if you think about it, like, if you're working for someone you're giving and you 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 want to give them your best effort it's hard to do so when they don't give you theirs you know so it's like that's what's so screwed up in america about like just work in general everyone just only cares about themselves but yeah anyways uh i'll come back to you guys when i get back i don't want to i don't want to drive on first gear like 60 miles an hour so uh let me go ahead and turn off the phone you are Why did you have to go You guys saw it, it is super dirty. I was driving by that M2 earlier and I was like, like, what is this? Why is it so dirty? So you shit everywhere. Well, we gotta get this cleaned up. This is terrible. I know, I know, I'm stalling too long about the parts list. We do need to wash the car because I'm trying to sit down with the car and talk to you guys and explain everything. I don't wanna show you guys a dirty car. And then I gotta also go upstairs and just write down every single thing I purchased. I have the purchase recepts for everything because I have to do the CHP on June 11th. And I have pretty much everything on eBay that I've purchased. So I pretty much have everything that I've purchased documented. So I'm gonna go print it all out, uh, record everything, pretty much lay it all down for you guys. So for you, for those of you guys who just look at a photo and like, okay, I'm estimating about four grand. That's not how it works. There's a lot of little things you have to pay 40, 50 dollars for, which I'll be addressing in this video.
All right, guys, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm probably got another sunburn and I'm sweating. I really got like, a, oh my God, I'm sweating so much. Car is finally super cleaned up. I'm gonna head out in a little bit. Uh, I might actually do this video in the garage. I'm gonna go take a shower because I'm not feeling so clean. So I'm gonna go take a shower and then come back, uh, probably get the car in the garage or probably go upstairs to my room and tell you guys the prices of everything it cost me to rebuild this M3. You can see the sweat is real. So I know this is gonna take about maybe 30 minutes to 40 minutes on my part to figure out um, everything that I purchased for this car and put it on this paper. I have some paperwork down in the garage and then I have a lot of um, purchases through Amazon and eBay. All the paperwork I have in person, that's paperwork of parts I bought in person and then everything else is from online. Uh, all the BMW stuff I purchased, I have all the documents for that as well. So yeah, it's gonna take me about maybe 30 minutes to 40 minutes and uh, catch you guys when I'm actually finished. the book right here this is pretty much all the body panels everything I have to take the CHP this is pretty thick if you ask me for just body panels um, so yeah I have some of these are repetitive ones because I've already uh, I pretty much ordered it from eBay and I told them I need an actual invoice for it so I can show the you know CHP so if you see me just going over one it's just because I've already written it down and I just remembered it All right, guys, so we're finally here downstairs. A little bit of change, of sc change in scenery. Um, but yeah, basically gonna be going ahead and throwing up all the parts I've went ahead and purchased, like somewhere over here where the light is so it doesn't get too much in the way of you guys. And pretty much just go down through all the parts because some of you guys said, don't just give us just the price. We wanna know every single part you purchased. So obviously there's a little bit of miscellaneous things. That I, you know, a couple of screws I'll probably purchase, a, po a couple of probably rivets or something I've gotten from the junkyards. So I can't really add that to the subtotal, but everything I purchased online and everything that I remembered and everything that I purchased in person with receipts, um, I'll be able to put that all in the video for you guys to give you guys a general, uh, pretty much understanding of how much it cost me to rebuild this M3. All right guys, I'm gonna throw up the parts list right there just for a few seconds. Um, so you guys pretty much can see it's a huge list. Some things I've received free, so it was only like two things, so don't worry about that. Uh, some things like rod bearings and like oil changes and coolant and uh, just, you know, all kinds of just random fluids. Those fluids did, I, I did add them into the cost because they did, um, they were needed to be replaced. Like that's something that had to be replaced for the car to drive. It's not something that you can just do down the road as maintenance. It just had to get done. Rod bearings probably could have settled off on it, but uh, I do want to factor it in maybe toward the end, um, but yeah. And then obviously we have the LCI rear conversion and the CIC conversion. Those two, I'm not gonna be factoring in the costs. Uh, I will factor into the total build of my M3, but I will give you guys a general price of just how much it costs to rebuild it and register it. So the car itself was around eight grand. The tow to bring it to my house was around $70. Positive terminal cable was 82. I actually ended up buying two of those. We got hood scoops, which were $20. Cup photos, which are $5. Seatbelt tensioners, we got two of them, so $85. Wheel speed sensor was $5. Wrap, as you guys know, uh, it was a little bit of a situation, you know, it was only supposed to be like 300 but ended up being 600 because your boy messed up a couple times and we had to order multiple times. We got the emblems, which are only $8, uh, wheel guards, $50, TPMS sensors, $40, center caps, $7, front bumper side marker, $40, uh, we also got front bumper grills, the bottom and the lower, that's roughly about like uh, $78 together. Uh, we got a hood latch bracket, which was $23, two key batteries, so I don't know if you guys know, my key still doesn't work. I ended up buying two batteries to see if I could still unlock my car using the key fob. So technically, I would factor that into a repair, but I haven't done it yet. But roughly, it's about $300 to get a new key fob. Mine works. So I'm, I don't think I'm gonna factor it into the cost because it works. The car is drivable, the car is legal, everything is good to go. For the most part, I still need to get the whole CHP situation down. But you don't need a fully working key to drive the car. So uh, I'm not gonna factor that in, but I did buy two key batteries, which is $8. The left fender was $378, which was almost double how much the cost of the right fender. The left fenders for some reason are super hard to find. The wheels, I paid around $1,200. That came with tires and uh, yeah, there was, it was a pretty rough situation. You guys saw in the last couple of videos how some of the wheels, some of the tires are messed up, one of them are curved. It's, Bad luck on my end, but overall, I love the wheels. And I know I'm gonna get bash on, but I love the wheels. Both headlights were $600. Um, the rear bumper was 280. The bumper bracket was 35. 
That was the rear one. The booster pump for smog was 38. Horns was 50. Oil cooler was 120. One mirror that I never ended up using because it was apparently for the E90 and I messed up and I couldn't return it was $250. That was an expense that just hit me hard for no reason. So 250 for that. Driver's airbag was 150. Current airbag was 65. Uh, dash airbag was only 40. Uh, hood emblem was 20. Hood was actually $600 with a dent. So it's the best I could find, guys. The best I could find. $600 with a dent, but whatever. Power steering hose was $80. Uh, we had like three hoses in total. So hose two was $15. Hose three was 120. The oil cooler bracket was 35. The radiator support bracket was 28. Um, we ended up get up two pulleys as well. We got a $20 pulley and a $26 pulley. Uh, and it was like the AC compressor itself, but they already came with the pulley, which was $90. Uh, we got a case for the key. I forgot. So we got two batteries and the case of the key. Um, that was also $8. We have the full front suspension. We got that from, I believe, uh, EC, not ECS, FCP, FCP Euro. Full front suspension for $640. The front bumper was $100. The radio support was $200. Uh, we got two more oil cooler lines because we ordered the wrong ones. There was $220 for both of them. The front bumper scoops. Those are the air ducts, not the actual scoops themselves. So the air ducts was $100 for both. The windshield was another $220 there, which is a good deal, honestly. It was a good deal. Uh, I did put in one tail light because technically I needed to order one tail light, but I ended up getting the whole conversion. So that one tail light alone was about $80. The rest of them, that's for another factor. But $80 bucks for that one tail light. So now we're coming into some of the registration things. Probably end up putting that as a separate cost as well. Like we'll do the totals for everything. And then, of course, in the end, there was a few miscellaneous pieces, which were $400. And then the, the dash was free and the battery was free, courtesy of a friend. So yeah, the total for all the parts to get the car rebuilt and in drivable condition was $15,547. So that's a lot of money just to get the car up and running. So pretty much you guys know I bought it for eight. I pretty much dropped nine just to get the car, uh, actually not nine. Yeah, almost nine, honestly, like eight and a half. Just the car to get the car running and driving. So that's kind of crazy. Didn't actually think of that. But you know, when you're working on a build, you just kind of buy things little by little and you know, you kind of just get somewhere. Anyway, so now we got to think about the wheel alignment, smog, headlight and brake, tags registration, and raw bearing. So the wheel alignment was 120, smog was 28. I got a steal of a good deal. Headline break was 90. Um, this is where it's gonna hit hard. Taxes and registration on an $8,000 M3 was $925. So yours would be a lot more, almost a grand to register this car. Yours would be a lot more if you got an M3 for 16,000, which is double that. So you'll probably be having almost $2,000 registration. Um, mine's only 8,000. That's how much they did the taxes off of. If you bought a $20,000 or $30,000 M3, just know your taxes are gonna be pretty crazy. And now to some of the maintenance parts, which is the rod bearings, 2,500, oil filter, uh, 100, coolant was 40, power steering fluid was 40, and then new battery was 140. Um, I pretty much got a new battery again. You guys will see in the next video. Um, just wanna get this video out for you guys before because it's kind of important. A lot of you guys wanna see it. So yeah, then I'll get a new battery. Anyway, so with all this, getting the car fully registered and everything, rod bearings, all the maintenance done, for it to be road worthy with no issues is $19,530. That's crazy. I actually didn't think we we're anywhere close to that number when we first started, um, but that's where we're at. That's why I saw you guys, I'm telling y'all that you gotta give me a little bit of time to re rejuvenate some of the money uh, so I can go ahead and before I start another build. Now to finish off the LCI tail lights, the rest of them were 320 and the full LCI conversion was $500. I think that was a steal of a deal um, normally an LCI, full LCI conversion will go from like 1000 to 1500 I got it for 500 because I really took my time finding the parts and Nick really helped out with a lot of it. So shout out to him as well. Um, so yeah, the total of the car, how it sits today is $20,350. So $20,000, guys. 20, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. See, so yeah, guys, pretty much that's where we're at. $20,000 for an M3 that's registered you know, smogged everything and got the rod bearings done. So you guys might be thinking that's a little bit more how, than how much it would cost. Uh, uh, actually, that's almost the same as pretty much getting a clean title. You need to factor in that I paid for the registration, taxes, rod bearings, all those extra maintenance things that, that you still need to do when you buy a $20,000 car. And it'll actually just be a lot more in taxes. Just know if you buy a $20,000 M3 and you do every, all the maintenance that I did and you do the tax registration, you're not gonna be at 20, you're more, you're more along the line of so 26, 27. So I did save about seven going through the way I did. Um, and I have the spec of my dreams, which is the manual, red interior, coupe, and you know, it's built, not bought. I don't know why I'm looking like a white angel right now. Anyways, that, that's kind of weird. Don't worry about that. Super white, damn. Or maybe redheaded, and either or. I don't know what's going on. G7X is really something else. So anyways, to go back to the whole Rayleigh's thing, um, so yeah, it cost me 20,000 to rebuild the car pretty much. 
Rayleigh's is where I started. Um, it's pretty much for you, those of you guys who want to do a YouTube channel, for those of you guys who want to get an M3 and want to know my backstory. I worked at Rayleigh's for about two years, got enough money to buy the 330i, pretty much just a down payment to be honest with you. I had to work to get it paid off through pretty much YouTube, a little bit of marketing, a little bit of side gigs. Um, just like, when I mean by side gigs, I mean like just either flipping things or something like that. Nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, pretty much got me to be able to pay off the 330i, get the 335, flip both of those. Uh, actually, I didn't even flip it. I took a significant loss on both of those. So I'm not good at flipping cars at all. But it did get me to my dream car. So those of you guys who are just new to the channel, just know I didn't just start off with an M3. It took me probably a total of maybe three to four years to from my first car to where I am now. Um, and yeah, it just takes time, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm significantly happy with my M3, but it took a lot of time to get here. And it's just crazy. I'm gonna throw up a little picture right here, my dad's text message. When we first started, and just for those of you guys who want to start a YouTube channel, just know your parents are not gonna be in with you from the start. From the start, they were like, this is crazy. You quit your job over something that's like online. You tried doing online stuff before, didn't work out for you. You know, college is a safe route, all this stuff. Your parents are only looking out for you. But just, just try to, like, I still go to college. I'm trying to do what I love doing best with uh, you know the whole education side of things still so if you guys do want to start a YouTube channel and your parents are like it's not a good idea focus on your studies just know that you can still do it on the side your parents won't agree with you at first but it's definitely worth it if you have a passion for it I know like one of my friends currently is coming up on it and uh, another friend of mine's like Jonathan he's working on it he loves it he has a passion for it. he actually loves editing as well so if you have a passion for it, guys do it don't just I mean don't be like oh okay well I'm gonna drop everything and just do YouTube no because like I'm not I haven't even made it yet no one like it's gonna take a lot of time to make this something so I'm just happy doing what I do I enjoy doing it and that's what that if you have that drive make sure to do it still go to college if you're you know if that's what you were doing before but yeah eventually your parents will agree with you my dad sent me like this text message of me and beamer fest he put that as wallpaper on his work computer it's kind of crazy but yeah i knew he wouldn't have done that when i first started he did it now because he's seen the progression and uh you know he, he's, he's he's finally proud of my decision which i'm really really stoked on but yeah without further ado guys just know everything takes time and if you have enough pride in what you do then it's possible it's really possible without further ado guys i'm gonna go ahead go inside edit this video try to get it out today Basically, this is the same morning uh, I pretty much recorded all this stuff because I've been very just just lately busy with family stuff But yeah, I'm gonna get this video out in about like three hours I'm like I have a watch or anything like that So I'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs edit this thing and hopefully it comes out pretty good but Yeah, without further ado guys, love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. Remember to grind and I'll see you guys in the next one Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse with the thirst that I wanna be better not worse man it hurts I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in cert cause I wanna have worth